So we have to find the removable and non-removable discontinuities of this rational function, so solution. The first thing you want to do is you want to try to simplify. Well, it looks like x plus 2 cancels, so we end up with x minus 1 over x minus 3. Anytime you have a cancellation like this in a rational function, it leads to a hole. Okay, so we have a hole at x equals negative 2. How do you get the negative 2? Well, it's whatever makes this 0. So negative 2 plus 2, negative 2 plus 2 gives you 0. So we have a hole. It turns out that if you have a hole in a rational function, it's always removable. You need to be careful because there are other types of holes that are not removable. Um, to find the non-removable discontinuity, uh, we look here. The function is undefined when you plug in 3. Uh, if that's not clear, you take x minus 3, set it equal to 0, and you get x equals 3. This is the vertical asymptote, and vertical asymptotes are always non-removable. So the point is this. If you have a hole in a rational function, it's removable. And vertical asymptotes are always non-removable.